Are you ready yet, Kazuki? Hurry up, honey. We don't want to be late for the family gathering. Your father's already started the car and is waiting for us outside. Okay. Don't forget my present, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you're adorable when you're angry. Come here, let me give you a hug. You're always a kid to me, Kazuki. Always. Just remember that I love you. Come now, son. Today's a special day where we get to spend some quality time with the rest of the family. Stop being so grumpy. Your father's right, Kazuki. We know you don't like crowded places, but this is different. It's our family. We haven't seen them for years. Aren't you curious about how your relatives are doing? That's not good, Kazuki. You should socialize more. You will never get a girlfriend if you're so antisocial all the time. <laughs> Indeed. I'm curious to see what your future wife is like, son. Are you sure it's safe to take the shortcut by the mountain, dear? It's getting dark. 
Don't you worry, I know this road like the back of my hand. I've driven down this path for several years now. I know, but it's snowing again. I'm worried that... Oh, Yuki, trust me. It's going to be just fine. Really. <gasps> Dear! What? Ah! Dude, what's with that attitude? Are you talking about me? I'll take that as a no then. I've been talking to you for a while now, man. I see you've been zoning out like a zombie again. so cool towards me, dude. Jeez. Anyway, I... I wanted to ask you to look at these files. This case is the real deal. Seriously, man, take a look. There's gotta be something there. I know that. That's precisely why we should change that. Besides, I checked the police report on the Phantom and nothing makes sense. I mean... They've been really careless with collecting the evidence and everything so far. Please. Just take a look at the files when you can. Oh yeah, thanks pal. You won't regret this. This case is... Okay, okay, sorry. By the way, Suzumi's waiting for us. She wants to give us a little pep talk.
Are you sure about this? The body count will just continue to increase. <sighs> I really don't like doing this. <laughs> True. Still... I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. Yes. Right. Let's do it. Let's take the case. Tell Akito to get ready. Ah. <laughs> uh. Um, you have some salad stuck between your teeth. Yo, what's up? What? Are you serious? For real? Sorry, man. I'm just so excited about this. This is great! So, when do we start? All right, I will. I can't wait to start working on it. Come to think of it, I still have that shoplifting case to take care of. Darn. I hope she lets me on the phantom case instead. I didn't forget about it. I did check out the crime scene yesterday. There wasn't much information for me to go on, and I didn't find out much. Okay, thanks for telling me, pal. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, bye. could be punctual this week? Oh, wait, that ship has already sailed. Try again next time, you sleepyhead. Why are you still there? It's already noon. 
You have 30 minutes to get here or you're dead. Huh, I see a little motivation is in order. Uh, how about this? If you don't show up on time, I'll put you on the grocery store shoplifting case with a keto for the whole day. Wouldn't you love to work with your best friend? Oh, you know I will. It's almost 12.20. Do you think Kazuki will make it? He'll be here, don't worry. Hey, I'm all for him being late. I need a buddy to work on a shoplifting case with me. <laughs> I doubt it'll happen. I'm pretty sure Kazuki will do everything in his power to avoid that shoplifting case, even if it means having to stay a good thousand miles away. The case is too simple for him anyway. S simple I'll have you know this is a serious case. You wouldn't feel the same way if you were forced into it. <laughs> Do you think we collected enough money at the concert yesterday? I saw a bunch of people there, so maybe we were successful. Don't worry. I'm sure it turned out fine. After all, people will usually help out whenever tragedy strikes. Kaoru's right. I'm sure you got a lot of donations. I don't want to brag here, but I participated in almost every event and got the most points, so I probably contributed the most. Uh, really? That's the same thing as bragging, Akito. You always want the credit. That's not true. I was just stating the facts. Honest. Afternoon, Kazuki. Uh, and technically, you weren't here when I called, so that does make you tardy. <sighs> Can you make it on time for once in your life? Yeah, right. All right, let's begin today's briefing. As we all know, murder isn't new. People have killed for various reasons throughout history. Financial benefit, power, passion, you name it. Anything to satisfy their own sick, twisted desires. Are we getting a history lecture now? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Akito? Pay attention! Y yes boss! I'm listening! Something about murder, right? <sighs> Good job, but you're still not off the hook for the shoplifting case. Darn it! I'm guessing you want bathroom duty too, Akito. Uh, no ma'am. Moving on. Every murder has a motive and every crime has a purpose. However, there are some cases where logic falls out the wayside. For these murders, the only explanation is that the person is simply irredeemable. A truly wicked killer. Not too long ago, we encountered a case involving a mysterious murderer known as Fumaki, whose gruesome crimes were motivated by his own sick desires. The next few slides will show you how capable this man is, and the horrifying acts he would commit just for exhilaration alone. Um, sorry for going off topic here, boss, but aren't we supposed to talk about the Phantom? Patience, Akito. Everything in due time. Akito, I think Suzumi is just trying to show us some similar cases. 
so we can prepare for whatever is going to come our way. What do you mean? We don't have anything to go off in regards to the Phantom. Neither a motive, nor a method. We are starting completely from scratch. These cases may serve as a guideline of what to look for once we start our investigation on the Phantom. Kara's right. Looking at these previous cases can help us deal with the Phantom. <sighs> Here we go again. And why is that, Kazuki? I'm all ears. Come on, man. He's still a serial killer. That's something at least. Which is precisely why we're doing this. We may not have anything now, but if we keep going through our previous intel, we're bound to find something together. I think the reason behind these murders is not as cryptic as we think. Don't worry, guys. We'll be able to discover the truth of these cases in no time. <sighs> That's awfully optimistic of you, Akito. But you do have a point there. I'm glad you guys are fired up about this case. However, let's just focus on Fumaki for now, and see what we can piece together. I don't think we'll get through everything today, but we can always continue it tomorrow. Sound good? Come on! Let's work on the Phantom case already! Idiot, I just said! Does that mean yes? No! And stop being annoying! It was worth a shot. Any other stupid questions? Well, um, do we have snacks? <laughs> Just kidding. Nothing else for now. For now. Well, what if I have questions later? <laughs> Big bro, stop giving Susan me a hard time. What? I can't have questions? Like, what if the murderer is killing someone with a rubber chicken? Moving on. Is the camera ready? Almost. Hurry up. I'm not going to stand here forever. Calm down, man. Great work. Let's start this thing. Keep the camera rolling, okay? Case number 48-15. Fumiaki, are you getting this? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, what's that smell? The victim, Sakura. Hey, take a close look at the body. Zoom in right here. See that? The victim's body is tied up and twisted to resemble a butterfly. Look at the spine. Yeah, I see it. Uh, that's, that's really sick. And kind of impressive at the same time. I didn't know you had a fetish for crime scenes, pal. Anyway... Along the thoracic and lumbar vertebrae, we can see other limbs which are probably from previous victims. There are also pieces of leather, too. Possibly a synthetic version made from... Ugh, another human. It's sewn into her to imitate a butterfly wing. I guess... Get a shot of this place. What the? Look at the walls. There are butterflies everywhere. What is it? Look here, on the calendar. The 23rd is marked in blood. The date for the next murder, perhaps? Most likely. We're going to have to alert the higher-ups. But that means we only have, uh, ten more days to catch him. I know that. I'm not stupid. Check under your feet. Make sure you didn't step on anything. No worries. I've got this. Check thoroughly. Hey! 
What? Uh, did you have any dirt on your shoes before you came in here? Yeah, like that. Then I think I might have stepped on something. Damn it! I just told you to watch out! Wait, what's that? Not sure. Is this mud? Mud? Quick, take a sample of it. Already on it. Hey, there's a little mud on the victim's body, too. It's mixed with... blood. Hey, give me a hand with this. I want to check something. Sure thing. Can you try to raise his hand up? Yeah, like, like that. Hold it. Hmm. What is it? Give me your camera. I need to record this. Okay, can you at least tell me what's going on? There's something under the arm right here. I can't see the entire thing, but... What could it be? Maybe the killer left something behind? Ah, I can't see what it is. Quiet! It's... it's... <laughs> Told you, it's a rubber chicken. A chicken feather? Well, what does that mean? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. We're getting closer to solving this case. This has been our biggest lead so far. You really think we can stop him? I hope we can. How can anyone be so cruel to go and do something like this? Yeah, this is twisted. You think the death penalty is enough for whoever did this? I don't know. People who commit crimes like this aren't human. They're trash. In my opinion, they deserve the worst punishment available. No question about that. Oh, crap. The camera's on. Don't forget to cut that stuff out later. I don't think our supervisor will want to hear our little commentary on the criminal justice system. Right. All right, so just take a few photos of the arm, and... Okay. Now, help me get her on her back. You got it? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Huh. Ah, crap. She's... she's a heavy one. Ugh, what is that? What... What happened to her? Damn, that's new. Where are her organs? I don't know. Look at this. Her chest is sewn, but her belly is left wide open. Take a picture. We need to get this, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. This gives me the creeps, man. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. I'm ready. All right, let's record this. As you can see, her internal organs have been extracted and with great precision, too. It's all cleaned out. Whoever did this knew exactly what he was doing. Maybe our killer's a doctor. More likely a surgeon. Ah, uh, right. One of those. Sorry, but how much longer is this video? <laughs> Why? Does little Akito have to go wee-wee? Stop teasing me! I need to take a piss! Are you kidding me? Stopping a baby and ask me nicely! Even a baby would behave better than Akito. <laughs> Big bro is a baby! You're one to talk! You still need to ask permission to go out at night! Settle down, everyone. Go use the restroom, Akito. Everyone else, eyes back on the video. So where do we go from here? I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. I feel like we're still missing some clues. There's got to be more to this. Well, from what we know, the killer selects the victims according to their hobbies. 
Yeah, we got that thanks to previous cases. Nonetheless, it irks me how we always happen to miss him somehow. It's like he's playing hide-and-seek with us. I can't believe this. We spent three hours discussing who the hell knows what is in there. And instead of asking about other things, he asked me about spiders. I have no clue what he's talking about. So then he told me to look over here. He asks me, what do you see here? What do I see here? I'll tell you what, butterflies. But then, then he tells me, look a little closer. Now this little fella looks like a butterfly at first, but if you take a closer look, you see it's actually a blue spider. It's bird bunt spider. That's why we think the next victim could be a spider collector. Or maybe someone dealing with arachnids, I don't know. The problem lies in how we can go about protecting the next victim. We can't exactly go around and say, if you collect spiders or have a fetish for creatures with eight legs, call us for protection. You might be the next target on a... Cut it out. I see your point. Wait, you recorded our conversation, didn't you? Yeesh. Well, at least we have some kind of clue to help us locate the next victim. We just need to see if there are any exhibitions or museums nearby that have spiders on display. Yeah. All right, we're done for today. Don't forget to edit the tape. Tell the others they can take the body for closer examination now. Roger that, partner. Case 4815, end of broadcast. Okay, any questions? What did I miss? That wasn't the question I was hoping for. I really want to kill you sometimes, Zakito. Huh? What was that, boss? Uh, just sit down. And don't forget, you're not working on this case. Man, why do I always have to miss out on the fun stuff? Anyways, does anyone have any more questions? Oh, uh, I have one. For real this time. You better not say that you forgot to flush the toilet. What? No! Actually, I think I forgot to. That's it. I I'm gonna... M moving on. I noticed that the tape wasn't edited. Is there a specific reason why they didn't edit the tape? Ha <laughs> very funny, Kazuki. Save your comedic squabble for after work, you two. So does anyone else have any more questions? How did they catch the killer in the end? Now that's the question I was waiting for. First, tell me what you noticed. What are your thoughts on this particular case? Hmm, there was mud, a chicken feather, missing internal organs, a marked date, and a spider symbol hidden in the assemblage of butterflies. Yes. All of the previous victims' bodies were found with their limbs severed. The police were unable to locate them before this murder case turned up. The agents also said that the organs were carefully removed with surgical precision. Okay, but what about the chicken feather? Could it be connected to a farm somehow? Yes, exactly. Very good. All of these clues are instrumental in understanding Fumaki's state of mind. What about the marked date? It was the first clue to be discovered. Fumaki has never marked the date for his next murder before. I guess he was getting more confident. I hate to say it, but he let his confidence get to him, 
and as a result, he became careless. Man, he really let it slip. Wait a second, do you think this could happen with the Phantom? Yeah, it totally could. Everyone's bound to make a mistake sooner or later. Perhaps. For now, the Phantom is doing a fine job in eluding everyone, and no one knows who his next victim might be. Furthermore, his motives and crime methods still remain unclear. So, um, did they end up catching him? Like I said before, the evidence from this case contributed to his eventual arrest. Two particular clues were instrumental in his capture. Can you guess which ones? I bet it's the chicken feather. <laughs> Surprisingly, yes. Uh, good job, Akito. What about the mud? It seems random, but... You're correct. That was the other clue. I'm guessing the mud meant the victim was held outside the city. Very nice! Now we're getting somewhere. Well, that's great and all, but trying to search for an abandoned farm outside the city would take forever! The area is huge, and it would take weeks just to narrow the places down. <laughs> that would be true, except... Remember the other piece of evidence? What? That mud we mentioned earlier was analyzed shortly after this video. It had high concentrations of potassium and magnesium salts, which are usually found near Rippling Lake. Oh! That definitely narrows down the area! Wow! Great minds think alike! I was gonna say that! Sure you were. Anyway, the murderer held his victim in an abandoned farm, so no one could interrupt his work. After he was done, he either tossed the body in an abandoned warehouse, construction site, or demolition site. He also fabricated an alibi during this time. Once the possible locations were narrowed down, the agents were able to find three farms there. However, only two were abandoned. They split into groups and waited for the suspect to show up. On the night of the 23rd, Fumaki arrived in a big van and exited the vehicle while dragging a bag with him. The agents were then able to capture Fumaki on the spot. They also found the victim in the back. Unfortunately. What about Fumiaki? Who was he? It turned out he was a former butcher and had also worked as a breeder in the poultry market. Hence the reason why the lacerations were so perfect. The tools for his murder were also found in the farmhouse. He called himself an artist and collector. Thus, the missing body parts for some of the victims. Tongues, eyes, fingers, organs. <sighs> he collected them as if they were... trophies. The police found all the parts in his house. That's really scary! Well, it's over. It's too bad there's not much we can do about it. No, you're wrong. We are doing something. We are helping make this world a better place by tracking and catching these criminals. We will make this world a better place no matter how difficult things will get. I agree. Anyway, uh, that's it for Fumaki. I think we should move on. Wait, now I remember! <laughs> you scared me, big bro! And stop yelling, we're in the office! Sorry, I got excited, okay? So, where was I? Oh, right. I was thinking about that girl who was murdered. You know, the one that looked like a butterfly. Oh, right. I was thinking about that girl who was murdered. You know, the one that looked like a butterfly. You mean Sakura? It, yeah, so I was on the toilet pooping. Too much information there, Akito. Don't you have a filter? Huh? 
As I was saying, I thought, I'm sure I saw this before. What? You've seen Sakura somewhere before? Huh? No, not that. I saw this movie once where a girl turned into a butterfly and... Of all the things you said today, this has to be the most idiotic comment ever. Uh, seriously? You were thinking about this while you were in the restroom? Big bro, I think you need to go to the hospital later. There could be something wrong with your head. I'm serious, you guys. Don't joke around. Hey, Kazuki, you've seen it too, right? It was on TV. Man, you can be such a jerk. Alright, for the next... Oh, what sentence did Fumiaki receive? He was sentenced to double life imprisonment. I doubt we'll see him in the near future. Tough luck. Okay, on to the Phantom case. Akito. What? Did I say something wrong? Do you have any documents pertaining to the grocery store break-in? Yeah, I do. It's not like you gave me anything else to work on. I verified everything with the store owner two days ago. What about the Phantom Case files? Yeah, I have those too. Wait, does that mean... Yes, it means I'm letting you work on the shoplifting case. The rest of you, uh, take a ten minute break. We'll be discussing the Phantom Case shortly. But... But... I've had these files for days now! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! Uh, you too, sis? <laughs> Sorry, big bro. Kazuki's comment was too funny! Suzumi! <sighs> Fine. You can lead the Phantom Case, but you need to finish up the shoplifting case, too. Thank you so much! You won't regret it! I hope so. I promise to work hard on all the cases. Well, definitely for the Phantom case, anyway. I'm already regretting my decision. I promise I won't say anything stupid. For the rest of the day! Just get ready, Akito. The rest of you, prepare for briefing later. Hey, Kazuki, are you still thinking about the Fumiaki case? Thinking about the Phantom? Yeah, there's something else that's bothering you, isn't there? Whoa, Akito is right for once in his life? I never thought I'd hear you say that. Not even in a million years. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Kazuki, why are you so mean to me? You never tell me anything. Do you hate me or something? Don't be silly, Aki. I'm sure that deep down inside, Kazuki likes you. Hmm. Kazuki may be a jerk most of the time. But he does like us as friends. If he didn't, he wouldn't have been able to stand being here for so long. Isn't that right, Kazuki? I guess you're right. 
But why the long face, Kazuki? We're friends! Cheer up! And stop being so serious and distant all the time! <laughs> Kazuki's just worried about something. Worried? About the Phantom case. The Phantom? But I thought the Phantom is just another wannabe. Well, that was only an assumption. Kazuki just read the documents, and he thinks the Phantom might be a real deal after all. Ah, uh, I get it now. Kazuki's worried he'll look stupid in front of Big Bro. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll take a lot more than that to look dumber than my brother. Huh? What do you mean? Hey! I'm nothing like Big Bro! Sorry, Aki. I'd have to agree with Kazuki here. I mean, of course there will be some similarities. We are siblings after all. But I'm still different from my brother. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back to work! Look who's talking! You didn't even want to take the case earlier. Why are you in such a rush now? Yeah, I know, sheesh. There's no need to get mad at me. We'll take care of the shoplifting case and the phantom case. We'll hit these criminals straight in the balls. Too much information! Big bro, you really need to watch what you're saying. Oh, come on. Don't you want to catch them? We never said that we didn't want to. Just be mindful of you say. You'll get in big trouble one day if you don't. Eh, <laughs> semantics. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Kazuki, you remember our talk on the roof? Uh, are you being serious right now? Because I can't tell. He's mocking you. Are you a mind reader? What other psychic powers do you have? Anyway, do you remember the little boy that was murdered? Yeah, that's the one. It turned out that he wasn't killed by the Phantom. The police investigated the matter, and there was a lot of inaccuracies. You won't believe who confessed to the murder. Hey! I'm not done talking! Someone from his family? It is pretty obvious. For most of the child murder cases we've seen, the culprit is usually a family member. Man, Kaoru, you should have kept that a secret. Now everyone knows about it. So it turns out the kid was adopted. That's why he was spending most of his time playing games. He kind of mentally locked himself up in his own fantasy world. lock myself up in some fantasy world, huh? Uh, hey! Just because I play games doesn't mean I'm antisocial. I'm very friendly and outgoing. And there's nothing wrong with playing games with friends every so often. Okay, are we changing the topic from... Who killed this kid too? Why is my sister an antisocial person who plays video games all day? Hey, you're the hopeless one! All my friends call you a noob and tell you to play Tetris or something! Do you think they'll ever change? True. Shouldn't we stop them? Fine. Hey, you two! Could you please?
please stop bickering and get back on topic. But he... But she... Yeah, we know. Akito's stupid and Aki's naive. But you guys are still good people. All right, moving on. <sighs> Fine. After further investigation, a lot of the evidence didn't make sense, so the police started to think that this couldn't be the Phantom's work. They interrogated the boy's family again, and this time, there were tons of inconsistencies. That's when the police knew something was up. So they found out who did it? Wait, don't tell me. Kazuki, are you psychic too? Hmm. But yeah, someone confessed to a murder the next day. Or rather, that someone was discovered by the police. What do you mean by that? Stop reading my mind! I already have a psychiatrist for that. Really? How strange. Let me get this straight. So the police found the body of the person responsible for this crime. Was there a written confession? Yes. Ha! Wrong. It was actually his grandpa. But why did his grandfather do it? His grandpa suffered from Alzheimer's disease, so he didn't even realize he did it. In his letter, he wrote, Please forgive me. I only meant to scold him, not hurt him. I had no idea what took place until the interrogation happened. All the memories came flooding back to me afterwards. <sighs> That's horrible. Yes, and depressing. I got it because I'm a super awesome detective, that's where. That doesn't answer the question, big bro. And it sounds awfully suspicious. Ah, that hurt my feelings. Alright, fine. I was preparing the documents for the Phantom case and visited the police station recently. That's how I got the tip. I told you! I'm a super awesome detective, and I use my charm and charisma to get the scoop. Hey, Power Ranger! Are you going to stand there all day? I told them to hurry up, but all they wanted to do was talk about the child murder case. No one asked about the case, Akito. Let's go back to the briefing room and finish up the meeting. Huh? What's the matter, Aki? Do you think I'm naive, big bro? Sis, don't you worry. I won't ever let anything bad happen to you. I'm your big bro, remember? Okay, then let's go! You're always late to the meetings, big bro! Hey! You tricked me! And for your information, it's Kazuki who's always late, not me! Okay, Kido, give us a scoop. What information do you have on the shoplifting case? 